I'm Juan Agadello. This is Five Aside with World Soccer Shop. I wanted to get integrated with whatever team I went to very fairly quickly and it definitely was the best choice for me to fit in right away in a speedy way and um, I'm very happy I made this decision. I come in the game and I'm like, oh my God, like this is crazy. I didn't think I was gonna play. Now I'm playing against Argentina. Like just look like you fit in Juan, talking to myself. And uh, we had a free kick. Uh, Landon Donovan crossed it. I tried to get on the end of it. The keeper coughed it up and I was there and I was just lucky I was able to put it on target, put it away. Uh, and then after that, uh, I sort of blacked out because it was my city is where I grew up, you know. Outlaws, they definitely have some sort of great coordination off the field before they go to games. And you could see that after games and everything, I'm always, you know, trying to high five them and wave to them. And uh, yeah, they're awesome. Even the days before, they, they make it a whole weekend type of thing, whatever city they go to. It was pretty emotional for me because it's been a long time since I was with the national team and I was working very hard to get back to the national team. And it was a game where I came in as a sub, I believe. And um, Michael Bradley, great long ball player. I made a run down the line. I brought it down and, and just took a shot and hoped anything would happen to, to go in, and it did. was obviously the Landon Donovan one. That was crazy. Um, I'm sure the whole country was, was going pretty wild. Uh, just classic counterattack, and the goal meant so much for, for soccer in general to advance in the group stage. It's not easy to advance, by the way. And that goal was, was huge for, for soccer in America. But um, personally, my goal, first goal in South Africa, when I was 17 years old, youngest player at the time to score for the US national team, um, just because that goal opened up so many doors for me and uh, my career, and my family. So it was great. I, I, I don't know the future, but we need to sort some things out to be a little bit more dominant and more confident into moving on to the, to the out of the group stage. It's going to be a very tough situation, and I'm just hoping the rebounds and the the few chances that we're able to create uh, go in in favor of us. Because if not, then um, we're not going to get past the group stage, creating very little chances. Well, no specific order, but yeah, Christian Pulisic, I'd have Weston, I'd have whoever my nine is on the field at the time. Don't know what sub is. Could be Jesus, uh, Pepe, or um, Sargent. And then um, fourth, I'm gonna go with a goalie, just to mix things up a little. And <laughs> Matt Turner is a good, Turner. yeah, he's, he's a good friend of mine, so. <laughs> I know he's got a size 17 that can maybe put it in the back of the net. And then um, lastly, I'm going to go with uh, Tyler Adams, just a Red Bull yeah. guy. <laughs> I was going to I was going to say some bad jokes saying Italy was going to make the final, but they didn't qualify. But uh, Brazil, Germany, okay. just a, a, a final that happened before and for some reason I feel like it's gonna happen again. As I look back at it, I'm, I'm glad it happened this way because it opened me up to so many different cultures, uh, lifestyles, and made me gain appreciation of other things um, and other cities too. And yeah, it was just, it's good. I, I definitely, if I could go back, I'd actually pick more cities to try to check out and live in and um, see where I could settle down in at the end of the day when I retire. Uh, being a young, young kid, I think I was around 18, 19 years old training with these teams and uh, actually holding my weight at the time in practice with them, probably because they were tired from playing 90 minute games against Chelsea and things like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, feeling like I can fit in to the European level, that was one of the best feelings ever because I saw these guys on TV and just thought that they were aliens and I would never get to that level. But um, when I was training with them and I was like, oh, okay, I could 
strike the ball as hard as this guy can and place it the way he can. So it was a eye-opening thing for me that gave me a lot of confidence moving forward with my career. Um, I would say that red one right there, just because it brings back a lot of memories uh, of when I was, was on the team consistently. With the national team, it had to be the South Africa one because of how many doors it opened. But personally, <clears throat> the bicycle kick against DC United, just because it's something that I practiced in training and then would never think I would pull it off in the game, especially a playoff game, and for it to go in and to feel good contact on the ball, that was, yeah, it was a pretty nice goal. It's not even mine. It's um, something I have marinating and waiting for it to just go crazy in the future price-wise is uh, I traded Neymar with his early Santos jersey when we had a friendly against him uh, at Red Bull Arena. And I have a video proof of me actually asking him and him taking his shirt on me, taking my shirt off. And he probably threw my shirt out, but I kept his shirt. I still have it. <laughs> Design-wise, Virgil, uh, he's passed, but something off-white, and then also an artist, maybe some random Lil Wayne, maybe. He has some verses about soccer in his lyrics sometimes, oh, okay. so Lil Wayne, and that would probably catch a lot of attention. It was actually in Colombia when I was young with my dad. Um, we were just, everybody was watching on TV. Uh, I was very young, yellow jerseys, uh, blue shorts, red socks, and it was Columbia. And then there was a guy, puffy, blonde hair. I saw him and I saw how everybody around me was watching him. And then I said, I wanted to be one of those guys where the whole country stops to watch you on the, on the TV screen. So that was the, the point in my life where I was like, I wanna be a pro. Pro, pro soccer player. This happened when I was very young and when I was on YouTube and watching highlights of players and then hear a rumor that we might sign Thierry Henry. And then uh, my locker, the day before, my locker is empty and the, the next day I see some guy moving in stuff and then he turns around and it's Thierry Henry. And I'm like, oh my, in my head, I'm just like, you don't understand, I've been stalking, watching for years now, buy your cleats, force my mom to help me buy your cleats. And uh, you're here shaking my hand and training with me. It's pretty dope. It's like, bring them out by T.I. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah, so that one got me pumped up when I was young. So I'm going to stick with it. The World Cup yeah. games will be will be coming up, but um, nah, no, nah, nah, no real big plans, nothing serious, just hopefully my kids write me nice cards, that's it. <laughs>